Yo, what up, world? It's your boy, Seas, from theseaslife.com. Welcome back to the people's favorite channel on the internet. Today's stream of consciousness, or the title of today's stream of consciousness is uh, Stop Complaining, Start Working. Sort of like a play on words from my book, you know what I mean? And reason for this discussion is like over the course of my journey i had uh, several several people several leaders you know put me in my place and gave me some tough love right and at the time really didn't like the tough love because it's like you know who wants to take responsibility for their own actions right <laughs> so um now the more mature version of me it's like, yo, I needed to hear those. I needed to hear that, right? So this is my version of that. My version of giving those who come across this, this video the same tough love. And it's to stop complaining and start working. So what is the work? The work is service. And the best framework that I discovered um, is I overcame blank and now I help blank people overcome that same blank now what is the blank the, the blank is what what is your things that you need to overcome mortgage debt I overcame mortgage debt now I help people who are over leveraged overcome that debt right I overcame student loans, right? So now I help other people overcome student loans. I overcame obesity. Now I help other people overcome obesity, right? That is the service. That is the work. So if you haven't overcome that yet, it is your job. It is your duty to overcome that obstacle. And once you overcome that obstacle, it then begins, it then becomes your duty to teach others how to overcome that same obstacle, right? Each one teach one is the is the phrase. So that is the that is the work. Oftentimes people complain about the obstacle, but it's there for you to overcome. That is your tool. That is your leverage. That obstacle is your leverage, right? So if you are in a situation complaining about certain obstacles like student loans obesity hypertension um financial illiteracy it is your duty to do that right so that's what my mission has been from like day one is like yo each each obstacle i have to first be aware that it is an obstacle right and then i have to do something about it now you're not going to get all of the answers all at once each phase or each obstacle is going to have um, systems and processes that you have to put in place to overcome those right and that's your business when i say drink water get money mind your business that that's your business your business is to overcome your own obstacle right and then use that now um how i was able to overcome obstacles is I would find the people out there that had the results that I wanted, right? So like, let's say obesity or hypertension, I will like go out and see somebody who has the body or who has the health, who has the lifestyle that I want and do as they did to overcome that. And the magic behind that is when you do as they did, you then create a new story right you never often walk the same step by step that they did right you have your own perspective on how you overcame that and then that's your leverage you take it to the marketplace and you package it up and you go distribute it to as many people as you possibly can so when i say uh, stop complaining complaining is a giant waste of time because what that does is perpetuate more complaining 
and it brings more complainers to your life, right? And that those more complainers just like do things to, it's like a silent war that you have with other complainers. You try to outdo their complaints and you find reasons to complain, right? As opposed to if you were searching for the solution, you have a pool of complainers that you could sell to. Like if you overcame obesity and you surrounded yourself with complainers, like how they were over overweight, hypertensive, diabetic, pre-diabetic, whatever it is, you now have a pool of people that you can sell your magic potion to because you already did it. You already done it. You already overcame that obstacle. And you can do it in the form of a product, an information product, or a service, right? Like training, et cetera, et cetera, right? Somebody has financial issues, right? Like there are a lot of financial advisors out there who are broke, over leveraged, you know, and they're telling people what to do with their money. And that just, you know, they're just mismanaging your funds as, as much as they're mismanaging their funds, right? But instead, find the people who has the wealth, who has the information that you need, that you want, and apply it to yourself. So every day, man, I go to YouTube University, Instagram University, Twitter University. I'm constantly finding the people. And I reach out to them. I have these conversations. And they tell me the same thing. Like, yo, just keep going. You're, you're on the right path, right? And they'll tell you that. Because within when you're telling them your sob story, they could pick it out. They could pick holes in it. Because, like, they all been there. They all been through it, right? So the first step in doing the work is becoming aware, right, of the obstacle that's in your way, then do what you need to do to overcome that, right? So if you're in mortgage debt, do what you need to do. Student loan debt, do what you need to do to overcome that. It's different pieces and puzzles that you're going to have to extract from the universe in order to help you. And it's not going to be something that you find in the book. It's going to be something that you find, like, on your, it's a lifestyle, Right. Like, where are you hanging out? Are you hanging out where the where the obesity people are that perpetuates the obesity, like the donut shops or the the bakery? Or are you at the gym? Like if you are um, if you mismanaging funds, are you at the dice game or are you at the financial seminars? Are you at the real estate meetup groups? Right. It's little tools like that, that people just think like, hey, man, like I've met business partners, like I've made plenty connections with people that I found going to like these meetup groups, like real estate meetups, go to meetup.com. That is a, a space where people with similar interests go to meet like-minded individuals, right? So every state has a meetup group where you can dive into internet marketing. Um, you can dive into real estate. Like I just go, even though I, I'm, st I'm like <clears throat> making my intentions known <clears throat> that I want to invest in real estate. So I don't know, like I tried it and failed miserably at it, but uh, with my first deal. And I know that you're like, yo, let me hang around people who had their first deal under their belt already. Let me go find out where they're at. Let me go see, let me see if there's, there's a similar story like mine. Let me see how they overcame like that hurdle getting their first deal. Let me go understand that, right? So I go to these meetup groups and find the people who have the results that I want, right? Is you're not gonna find that in your Fox business or Fox news, <laughs> right? You're not gonna find that, that's just for the sheep. Like those main media like outlets, that's for the sheep to keep all of them submissive. Like, yo, there ain't no market crash. The, the market is fine. There's no inflation. Inflation is transitory, right? Like, come on, man. Come on. So you got to do the work. And my work is far from over. So I got plenty more conversations to have, more people to meet, more places to go. And this is just my way of holding myself accountable because, like, um, I always say, 
when the idea first comes to mind, you move it to paper and then you push it into the universe. So this is my way of pushing my intention into the universe, right? So it's like I wrote, like your journal is your instruction manual. Your journal, so when you have an idea, you meditate, you have an idea, right? Get that on paper. Not like your, not your, like if you need to, um, like you don't have paper and you could put it in your notes app, but the moment that you get it out of your notes app, put it on paper because it's physical. You're actually feeling it, right? You're actually feeling you write the words. So put that out there. Put your intentions out there. Like write your goals down. Write what you're intending to do. I wrote, again, I'll show you guys. Like this is, I'll show you my journal, man. Well, I'm not going to show you the contents of it, but like I write my intentions down. And today I'm going to actually see that property. I downloaded the uh, the open the open door app, made an appointment to go and um, see and view the property because I want to I want to feel what it's like, you know, hunting for that first or that second deal. I would say this is this property right here that I live in is my first investment property. But we're going to look to expand that empire, right? Just one home at a time, one investment, one stock at a time, one business at a time. And we're going to just continue to do the work, man, overcome these obstacles. Like, yo, how like one of my biggest obstacles is making my first million dollars. Right. So it's like once I make that. I'll show you exactly how I did it. Actually, I'm showing you how I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm actually showing you how I'm doing it, man. And it just feels good to share. It feels good to share because like my mind, it, like the, the way that my mind is working right now is like, man, I just want to give more people that same feeling like, yo, I don't need to worry, man. Like I got, I got shit on my side, B. So yeah, man. Um, the complainers, man, you'll find them. They're in your ear. They're in the break rooms. You know what I'm saying? And notice the language that they use. Notice that the problems that they have, you're going to start seeing connecting the dots like, oh, so this is how this company solves this problem. Oh, this is what they outsource to solve this problem. You're going to start making that connection. And then all those those wires are just going to start firing in your brain and it's going to give you so much creative ideas, which then transforms into confidence. We talked about confidence and insecurity in the last video. So uh, not to make this, you know, go into different branches or whatnot. We're going to stick to doing the work. The work is every day. People think like, yo, nine to five is like, yo, I check in the work. No, like your biggest business is yourself, right? You are your own business. Like think about all the businesses that you do business with. Like if you brush your teeth, you do business with Colgate. If you have um, a MacBook, an iPhone, you do business with Apple. If you have Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, you do business with all those social media companies, right? But the difference is, you know, you're wasting time and energy, which they feed off of and they making their money. But where's your cut? Right. Where is your cut? And your cut comes from overcoming an obstacle and finding other people with that similar problem in those spaces and pushing your intention out there, pushing your product or your service out there for them so that like, yo, think about it. You already solving the your jobs an obstacle at your job right you get hired to um to enter data um or you get hired to transport patients right that, that is a problem that your job your corporation has and you're just fulfilling that right so imagine if you can find other things that doesn't require your physical space to be there in order to solve that problem. So there's several ways that you can do it. We're going to dive deep and talk about those several ways more. 
we're going to reach out to those who've done it and have those conversations here on this channel and uh, keep things pushing, man. So that's my thoughts for today. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for kicking it. Drop me a comment, like, share, subscription. If you found this video helpful, informative, inspirational, aspirational, whatever it is, man, just uh, say what's up. Connect with me somehow. All right. Um, but yeah, thank you. And uh, again, don't forget to drink water, get money, mind your business. Peace.